Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Pardon my French, but fuck me, it's been a while. Um, I would like to apologize for not uploading for three months. And I could spend this video explaining why I haven't been around to make a video in three months. On the banks of my own lovely But I thought I'd talk about One Direction instead because why not? I just love One Direction. So, um, today I'm going to be talking about the star signs as One Direction songs. Um, and I'll just give you a bit of background info on each star sign and then why which song correlates to which sign in my head, even though I know nothing about astrology. So, right now we've just moved into cancer season. Great, emotional time. We love it. Um, and cancer people are very loving, very loving creatures, and you know, it's just like a big hug. Sometimes that hug is too much though, and it might feel a little bit like Stockholm Syndrome. Hey, One Direction have a song called Stockholm Syndrome, imagine that. Hilarious. Um, yeah. The next sign is, let me check my notes, Leo's fire signs love the energy they're they're great um a lot of one direction songs are about love so a lot of times i looked at the star sign and how they behave in love and the characteristics of that love and so for leos i found out that when they fall in love they fall hard and they've got no control <laughs> The next sign is uh, Virgo. But here's the thing. Allegedly, Virgos are very self-deprecating and very hard on themselves. And uh, a lot of One Direction songs are about unrequited love and being in love with someone, but they're in love with someone else. And I thought a really good song that captured that was Tell Me A Lie from Up All Night, where uh, one Direction, I'm just gonna refer to them as a, as a collective, so One Direction tell this girl, they're like, if it's because I'm a screwed up mess or I don't listen or you don't want to kiss me, like, I get it, because they're so hard on themselves. So I thought that was a very big Virgo energy right there. Um, the next sign is Libra. Uh, coincidentally, it's actually not even a coincidence, my dad is Libra and so is my best friend, so I don't know what that means, but Libras very often want um, not even validation, but like recognition. If they do something for you, they want you to be like, thank you. Like, I, I've noticed that you've done this thing and I appreciate you and you're valid and bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. So from another one from Up All Night, I want, when they just they just want, like they'll give you all these things and all they want is your love in return. And they're like, look at all these things that I've done for you. Love me. <laughs> Big mood. Uh, the next sign is Scorpio. S s scientifically? No, statistically. I'm not even sure if it's a statistic or if it's just in the stars. But apparently, they're the sexiest star sign. Sexiest star sign? Yeah. Um, and I was thinking, because One Direction are really sexy. Like, that's, that's no secret. Like... I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo wouldn't get a look in, <clears throat> but they're just like, they're real like teeny boppers, you know, so they don't really have that many like sexy songs, but I remember my best friend told me in secondary school that um, Rock Me was about either Harry Styles or Liam Payne, one of them losing their virginity, and that's why I was like, that that's a sexy song, like, it makes sense, and also because the song, like, it is pretty sexy. So, felt like that went well with Scorpios, so, yeah. Anyway, the next sign, Sagittarius. Sagittarius have a lot of, Sagittarius, is that, like, grammatically correct Sagittarius's, or is it Sagittarii? I don't know. Anyway, but they have a lot of energy, and uh, they're, like, they just have a lot of youthful energy, and so did One Direction back in the day, and uh, they have a song called Live While We're Young, and they were very like, woo, we're gonna live while we're young, and I just felt like, I just felt like it was, it was a good choice. I mean, who's gonna critique my choice on, like, One Direction songs as the star signs, 
or vice versa like like it's just subjective like anyway the next sign is capricorn an earth sign and what the song is back for you and i feel like it's because like earth signs in general but especially capricorns are very determined people if they say they're gonna do something they're gonna do it and like they will overcome adversity so i think that my logic there was that um one direction or like yeah like have all these things going on but don't worry i'm coming back for you i'm saying this so i mean it like i got you bitch <laughs> did i say that just did anyway and the next sign aquarius or aquarii an air sign um right i love aquariuses because i feel like they are the coolest star sign like they're just very like elusive and they're like oh like you're so like just very cool you know and a thing about aquariuses is like everyone everyone kind of wants to be them like they're very mysterious type people but also allegedly they're not the best with their feelings so she's not afraid is a pretty good example of this because it's a girl who's like really cool and everyone wants to get to know her but then behind closed doors like she, she's afraid of like giving herself over to one direction because she's afraid of falling in love i don't know i just thought that it was a pretty good fit pisces a water sign very emotional so emotional in fact it's almost humorous and one of the songs that I think from One Direction that really captures that is Heart Attack. One Direction, they see this girl that they like with someone else and they're like, yep, yeah, I'm having a heart attack. That is definitely what this is. Like, they're not like, they're not like, I'm feeling sad and I'm just going to work through this. They're like, no, I'm going to die. Heart attack. Confirmed. Um, which is big Pisces energy, in my opinion. Anyway, the next sign, Aries. My mom is an Aries. Um, I'm a Taurus recipe for disaster but um Aries are really like strong-willed and just like they're really cool like I, I have a lot of respect for Aries but the first line of drag me down is I've got a fire for a heart and Aries are a fire sign and I just felt like it was it was their song like I don't really have much more of a reason it just felt right you know the next sign is Taurus, the best sign, obviously. Um, Tauruses are so possessive. So possessive. Even if we don't seem it, bitch, you thought. Um, and sometimes that, like, there's like a, a line between possessiveness and, like, paranoia. And sometimes we find ourselves on the other side of that line. So... Steal My Girl is a perfect example of this because I bet you not everyone is trying to steal One Direction's girl, but they sing everybody's trying to steal my girl. Like, no, I don't think everybody is, but that's the way Tauruses think. They're like, yes, everybody right here wants to steal my girlfriend. It's probably not true, but that's how we operate, okay? I don't know why I'm getting real, like, sassy, but, you know, just deal. Um, on the last sign, and the least, Gemini's. Um, see, a lot of people have a lot of bad things to say about Gemini's, and they're all fair, but they do have a lot of energy, allegedly. Um, they're an air sign, and I feel like where some people need sleep, they just don't. And Up All Night is the perfect song for that because it's literally talking about how they're gonna stay up all night and jump around until they see the sun up all night and find a girl and tell her she's the one. Perfect energy, just lots of gusto and go get them and bloody blah, blah, you know. Um, I mean, there is no One Direction song about being like a two-faced backstab and whatever. So this was the closest I had. Um, but yeah, that is all the star signs as One Direction songs. Um, I hope you maybe learned a little tiny bit about each star sign, even if it's not useful to you in your everyday life. Um, thank you for watching and I promise I'll upload again soon. Bye!